and we're live. Yeah, pretty really. Cool. Sweet yeah, tarts it's... suck. Those are what? What's the on those tier lists? What is the lowest? F, G. You put them at F and G? No, they are not there with good plenties. And okay, oh, can we do candy tier list? Yes, we can do that. We have three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can do this, and we're going to come up with our list, and then we're going to pull Danny on all of them, and it's going to take a long time. <laughs> so anyway, S tier candies, Snickers. Reese's Reese's, not, cups. Reese's miniature cups, more chocolate. It, the chocolate to peanut butter ratio is perfect in the oh, mini so cup. Close yet so far, my friend. No, you want the ones that only come out. You want the malformed. Christmas trees that become eggs and oh. those the ones with lots of good peanut butter and enough chocolate. You want the, the no, 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 holiday no, no. ones. That's too much peanut butter. It's not. It's just not. <laughs> you want more <laughs> Taylor employing the nah -uh argument. <laughs> <for> the <laughs> miniatures are the way to go because you get more chocolate. On you, the onus of peanut butter proof is on you to prove that that is too much peanut butter. You can like bite the bottoms of them off and you get that mouthful of peanut butter. And then once you get that chewed up, you pop in like the ring that's left over. That's all chocolate. They're great. They're that is great. great. And I'm not, I'm not coming down on your pick. That also deserves to be S tier. I'm just saying you limiting it to minis, very short sighted. I uh, I think it's, far sighted and 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 it's and it's it's well researched <laughs> all right they are they are the best candy okay now, so now now being far sighted is a hilarious counter argument yeah. <laughs> far sighted i can't see the forest for the trees <laughs> you're <laughs> fucking argument. blind don't talk to me about being yeah, short sighted on candy. <laughs> i'm not far sighted i'm near sighted you know. another s tier candy and neither one of you are going to even come close to agreeing mm. chocolate covered raisins oh no oh. i'm with you yeah, no, no, you won't I'm find not. any fight here. I fucking love chocolate covered what raisins. Loser podcast, am I a member of? Well, <laughs> chocolate covered raisins up there. You guys are lame as shit. At the tippity top, and Goobers you know what? One level below them is the yogurt covered raisin, the white mm. yogurt covered raisin. So it's like fucking a good. Tangy it's chocolate just... covered raisin. Yeah, it's good stuff. Kyle's on right on target with this, and Taylor. I thought you knew more about candy. You I would have looked at you as a man who knew his candy, and I'm not feeling it. You mm -mm. <laughs> with like your mom made you brush your teeth three or four times candy. a day. I bet. Yeah, I, I brushed my teeth all the time. Didn't mm -hmm. fix my bite though. See. <laughs> yeah, so you you're insane. You at least have to move it down a tier. It does not deserve to be there with Reese's, and I'll say Twix. I'll put that in the top two. I like Twix a lot. Twix are very fucking good. But I'm going a little outside. I'm just trying to stay away from like the, the core candy bars because Twix, Snickers, and Reese's just kind of own everything as far as that goes. Although Milky I'm a big Way. Almond Joy fan too. Milky Way's garbage. Oh, Milky we've had this argument before. I, for, I forgot. If yeah. if there were, if Milky Ways were just, if I had one of those deals where you, you win a lifetime supply of Milky Way, there's just going to be endless crates of them at your house. I would sell that membership for whatever I could get for it because I would have, have no fucking is, interest. Like, Get a get a jar of salted peanuts and then just kind of push some in to the top. And now it's a Snickers. I'm That's not creating I'm my own candy bar at home. First of all, they're just you mush. have infinite free candy for for life, and you can't spring for what fifty candy bars some worth planters. of planters. You just push those in, and that, Fuck and that. you push them in. Fuck you. I'm not doing that. Milky Way are mush. Milky Way are fucking mush. They, they they hurt my teeth. They're so mushy. I need some substance in my candy bar, which is why my third selection is the chocolate covered pretzel. Salty, sweet, candy. chocolatey, and a crunch. That doesn't You know, sense. salt and chocolate are underrated. Kyle's got some true. solid salt Oh, you know what's good? good? Almond uh M&Ms. The peanut M&M only. I won't yeah. even touch a regular M&M. <laughs> Your almond M&M is the best. You know what's actually pretty good? Those M&Ms it's not a peanut M and M. It's got like the Reese's peanut butter inside the M and M. Yeah, Reese's pieces. No, no, no. Because Reese's pieces, it's a ridiculous ratio, and they suck. These are big M and Ms with like way. It's like the size of a peanut butter or a peanut M and M. Just a get a jar of peanut butter and get it fuck over with. This is way too much peanut butter. I eat peanut butter out of the jar Good like God. it is, like it is ice cream sometimes. That sounds really good, actually. It's so good. And Everybody likes but, peanut butter. But you, but you know it's so bad. Well, you know, yeah. you're eating peanut butter. And then you like have a nice spoonful of peanut butter and you're like, oh, that can't be right. Like looking at the label. Whenever like, I can't calories. whenever anybody brings up Reese's pieces, I, I I can't help but remember the time. I was just talking about it the other night um with some guys, like 
when Harley was at my house and we were filming that video and we left white boy unattended on the back porch and those whores that we had picked up at the bar were like feeding him a vodka, like, like a baby with a bottle mm. and like poisoning him essentially. And I came outside and I was like, what are you doing to the little guy? Like he can't handle that. He doesn't drink. And white boy had also eaten like a family size bag of Reese's pieces so like 20 minutes later, he's doing that thing where you can't even sit up and bend over to vomit. You're just kind of like laid back, just vomiting on yourself. Oh, no. And it's and it's this thick con- Reese's Pieces slurry that he's vomiting. <laughs> and of course, it's going all over my outside couch. Like, and <laughs> Kitty's peanut butter, it's going to reek. And Kitty's violently allergic to peanut butter. She's not she's not, she's not one of those people who gets itchy. But she gives into anaphylactic shock and she has to hit herself with an EpiPen. Alex so, is a bioweapon to her. A that fucking point. bioweapon. He's that alien from the alien movies, just spitting acidic blood. Like it literally burns Kitty's skin off. Like like I've seen it happen with peanut dust. Peanut dust got on her hand one time and the skin peeled off. Oh my Goodness God. gracious. It's absurd. Peanut dust? I don't remember. I think maybe the grocery store where they've got that th- those big fucking like Some guy just you, you lift up. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that your skin's gone it's, yeah. all, it's a terrible self-defense technique only works one in 130 times yeah um what about sour candies well like, we, we've been on the chocolate I, thing i'm not a sour man when it comes to candy i, I really don't like like sour patch kids never been for that yeah any sour candies i'm not really down as a kid <laughs> i really liked warheads those super sour little uh little little i think they're gum like no like almost. no no, no. They, so what it is they were okay, but they were only good because after the first minute and a half, it would become sweet. So you mm. would fight through the absurdly powerful sour. And I remember thinking my dad was like a psychopath because those were huge when I was like in middle school and I had a big bag of warheads. And because everybody was eating them and it was fun at school, it was like, how many put can you put in your mouth? Ten? And like, kids like, uh, one kid burned the inside of his mouth pretty bad. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's acid. Yeah. And my, my dad, I remember like watching him eat them and he would like put in like a yellow one. And then, like, when it got rid of the sour part, he, like, spit it out. And, I was, and it would eat another one. He would only eat the sour time. And once it became sweet, he would spit it out. And I was just like, that's so – you're you're not getting the reward. You know, you, yeah. it's like eating your vegetables so you can get your steak. I love those as a kid. Like, like, for me, it was elementary school, and uh, and they were very popular. Everybody wanted warheads. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was elementary school. I say middle school, a bunch of thirteen year olds <laughs> eating eating candy. That's a crazy idea. Thirteen year olds eating thirteen year olds eat candy. Oh, I know. I was saying like in school though, to like to bring because obviously like my 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 memory was like running around on the, on the playground, and I was like, well, clearly that wasn't me at thirteen. We didn't have a playground at thirteen. Oh, what, what are the cool worst Taylor candies? Was. All right, so we talked about those those peanuts. What are the what are they called? The circus <laughs> peanuts. Circus Ooh. peanuts, terrible. Good and plenty's awful. Nerd rope. <laughs> Part of this is because of the disappointment. Because I remember on Nickelodeon seeing a commercial for Nerd Rope and being like, this just changed the game. And then I got one at a gas station with like my grandma. And it was, it wasn't even a letdown. It was actively bad. It was a bad tasting thing. So uh, I think they got how do you, How do you feel about Werther's Originals? That chewy caramel. Oh, those are good. Chew thing. My really? grandmother always had a bowl of those at her house. And I just remember as a kid ending up with Lockjaw. Cause I didn't have the, 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 you, you can't sympathize with this. I'm sure. But I didn't have the jaw power to chew <laughs> up a Werther's oh, original at five bitch. years old. <laughs> Five-year-old me would just get, Oh God, what do I do? Like I need a glass of hot water. I was clearing out entire old folks homes. <laughs> them down. But you're right. Those are good. Wait, you're talking about the soft chewables, right? The soft, chewy caramels. Soft chewables are good. The hard ones, the hard worthers are not good. Not a big uh, fan of that. Those are only good if it's the only thing available and you're a bored child. Yeah, agreed. I also like, uh, this is going back the opposite way to candies. I do like the big league chew, the shredded bubble gum. Remember Dude, if that they stuff? Unlock, if they could unlock how to make that flavor like genuinely last five minutes, and that's not Grape a joke. or original? Uh, whatever was in the store. When Grape was, was the I, superior flavor. I've got a couple terrible candies. One, sugar baby. Are you familiar with this? Yeah. Impossible to chew. Some, yeah. Some guy thought that he could fool the, the the candy system by going, "What if we go only sugar?" No. There's got to be stuff else in there. Here's another one. Next two are hugely overrated. Wax teeth. 
oh my god people would look oh. forward to these wax teeth like they were oh, you lips? put them on you, you run around you look like a vampire for a brief amount of time and then it turns into like gum or something it's wax it's terrible it's not it's barely candy if it's, it's not candy, candy that stuff it, would never survive if it, it wasn't shaped like gum. teeth <laughs> that, it, that this wax turned into candy and it is it, it is gum. Just, it's basically eating. wax with sugar in it oh with okay. like liquid right. water it's like sugar water in, injected into a it's, wax form dude that candy would never survive if it wasn't teeth shaped no yeah, one would no. agree no one would oh them. they make the little beer bottles of it though have you seen those it's, mm. it's like these little they might yeah. be called coke bottles or and something you, you like bite that the top off and it's got a little liquid in there and it's like once it's another candy where the idea is so much more fun than you know the execution Practice. yeah i have another yeah. candy that's wildly overrated double bubble again if that wasn't packaged with like cards or came in some like good uh, distribution outlet, like uh, the, the machine to put the quarter in, baseball cards, no one would eat double bubble if it had you're to talking about, with like the You're talking about the, you pull the two ends like a Tootsie Roll and you've got a, a, yes. a little pink. And you have a little bit of sidewalk chalk. So that was huge when we played baseball. We would literally have a bucket of it. Like it, it would come in these like tubs that you like, take the top off of and that tub of double bubble will be sitting on the bench at the baseball games if that tub was filled with bubblicious it wouldn't last long at all i bet they brought that same tub game to game to game yes. <laughs> by the we end loved of the season, it. you're yeah. just chipping your teeth uh, yeah, the, we loved it but if someone ever broke out the big league chew mm -hmm. that was the winner for yeah. sure taylor um yeah i don't know um i i really like the the nutter butters i like peanut butter just about anything but but you're you're so wrong about the fucking Reese's cups. Like I'll tell you the perfect example of and when I learned this is when I was a kid and it was Easter and my mom would get us these Easter eggs and and don't think an Easter egg. They were these peanut butter Easter eggs that they made at some sort of bakery somewhere. Yeah. You're holding and it your was hands like, in the size of a human head. Is that what? Is that's that the size they okay. were. They were this. It was like a baked potato. That's the, the, it's a okay. A, think of the biggest baked potato you've ever had. It's that of peanut butter coated in like. A tiny amount of chocolate just enough to cover the peanut butter up essentially <laughs> enough to keep it together just a and as like a chocolate as a 12 year old you get like eight mouthfuls in and you're just like have a stomach ache immediately this is the and you're best like, day I, of my life you're like how do i even preserve this for later i need a ziploc bag it was so bad yeah but I'm, you're also you're attributing that nonsense and that does sound nonsensical having a football amount of peanut butter with a thin coating like the Earth's crust of chocolate, that's ridiculous. What I'm talking about, the reject Christmas trees that are pumped out to be Easter eggs, those ones, that's a perfect ratio. It is a thick amount of chocolate on a bigger amount of peanut butter. The more chocolate, the better. The peanut butter should be a special treat on the inside. I don't, I, I, like, 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 I, I don't need 50-50 peanut butter. I want like 70-30. No, I'm a, I, when it comes to this kind of candy, I'm about equity. Mm. I want about a 50 50 split. <laughs> that was a, you know, that's a good candy too. Mike and Ike's are pretty good. I would put them not bad. middle of the road tier. C, I guess. Yeah, not I'm even sure if I've ever had them. Really? They're kind of jelly beanish. They'd be compared. Yeah. Uh, I do like jelly beans. Yeah. Yeah. It, they're, they're like better jelly beans. I'm not a big fan of jelly beans. Maybe because a lot of the time I've had them, they've been like in dishes that have yeah, been sitting no, there. It, a good gourmet jelly bean can be you know, pretty good. I like the Harry Potter jelly beans. I was about to bring those up and like I remember when those came out like people would be like oh try this one it's vomit oh this one's yeah. cum it's just Harry it's Potter like, do why that? are you guys doing this this yeah. is yeah. bean boozle bean boozle does that and uh you can maybe that's maybe that's what it is it I don't think Harry Potter beans were selling cum and vomit <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, it's not cum actually it's spoiled milk or uh, coconut so so the, the bean boozle for those unfamiliar they'll be two identical looking jelly beans and one will be like what's green flavor mint and the other yeah. will be lawn clippings one will be chocolate and the other will be vomit or dog poop or something like that and you don't know what you got until you bite into it now you can squeeze it and cheat but that's cheating and Colin gets mad at you for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating do you ever like fool him you get the dog do one, you eat it, and you're like, mmm, chocolate. And then he grabs the other one, the old crisscross oh, switcheroo. That's not how it works. It, uh, it works. Yeah, no, you, you take it out from a larger container. Like, it's all stored. You don't know. 
no one knows if you get a win or lose in this thing yeah <laughs> no, no, i love how you phrase that no one knows <laughs> anyone's gamble yeah it, it's being, being attacked being being, being boozle is that what you're looking for being boozle being boozled let's see oh the fifth edition challenge <laughs> only 60 dollars oh my god yeah there's a game you can make out of it oh here they are here's the that's not expensive actually this isn't 60 bucks. so you can have coconut or spoiled more spoiled milk they look the same buttered popcorn or rotten egg peach or barf strawberry oh. banana smoothie or dead fish like these are the yeah, and they both look bear or booger tutti frutti or stinky socks birthday cake identical to dirty dishwasher and then you bite in and you find out if you won or lost <laughs> and the the game is just a little like spin thing i don't know what other what's it like shoots and ladders maybe you spin the little thing and it'll tell you to grab a yellow one there it is okay if you, know you become an expert good? you're like oh no like the downside of strawberry banana smoothie is the worst. Dead fish is my least favorite flavor. <laughs> oh, know? God. Whereas like spoiled milk, you know, maybe isn't quite as bad as dead fish. You know, another good candy are Charleston chew. I would put them around B level for me. I like those. That sounds like a, a black candy from the civil rights era. Well, I'd know that they sold it at Toys R Us. Mm. <laughs> it's inside yeah, it of it sense. is a, a white, like sugary taffy type thing and when yeah. you bite it it's it just takes a lot i can see why a man with like massive mastication muscles would like the charleston chew you're just flexing Sometimes, on everybody yeah just wolfing <laughs> down charleston chews not even enjoying them <laughs> those are good what other fucking candies do i like reese's fast break that's in the s tier those aren't even around as much anymore but it's got the chocolate, the peanut butter, and it's got a nice nougat layer there, which complements the other two ingredients nicely. You would like that, Kyle. Have you ever uh, had a like, fast break? Yeah, I've had them. I'm not a huge fan. I, I like. I, I really like the standard minis. Both? You said you like the Nutrageous ones, and the Nutrageous oh. isn't nearly as good as the fast break. I really do like the Nutrageous. I like peanuts. I like the peanuts in there. It's like it's like it's like a peanut Reese's cup candy bar. How about paydays? I like paydays. Ooh, um, almond joy. The one that's oh, that payday is the one that's mostly peanuts, right? It's peanuts very just held good. together with caramel. Dude, you cannot eat that in your car if you're looking to avoid crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. that is an outdoor like at the gas pump type of treat where you, <laughs> you can leave. You ever looked at the calories <laughs> on a payday? I can't um, imagine. I used to buy those, and I'm like, it's like a healthy treat. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd like, be like on my way to hockey practice or something. And at the time, I was so active, it never mattered right. or nothing, anything. But I, I would eat that, <laughs> eating that at some point, being like, oh, what? And it's like, ingredients, 85 peanuts, half a cup of caramel. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. I guess it is too very dense. Then we cover it all in chocolate. Yeah, no, there's no chocolate on it. There's no chocolate? It's just no, caramel it's just and peanuts? Caramel holding together a mass of peanuts. I can't believe and you it's never very salty. And How do you even which handle I it? Like. Oh, carefully. 462 <laughs> calories in that. That is actually a lot. That's, yeah, it's like it's a, insane. It's a insane. Big Mac's 550. <laughs> Another low tier candy on our terrible candy. candy. Happy I'll give you a stomach ache. Disagree. What's, uh, what's your top tier candy? Your S tier champion tier candy? It's. Probably Haribo gummy bears are the holy grail for me. But if those aren't available, I don't know what that posture you're doing right now, Kyle. Me, he, so he was a gas. No. That's, He's that's, a gas. Uh, that's me doing the uh, the thing from um, the the dictator that James Franco does when like like, yeah. like that move, like like complete disbelief at what you've just said. And then this might be like uh, saying like, like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones, but Skittles and Starburst, man. Both of those give me stomach aches, and I hate them. Starburst. <laughs> uh, I like I like the pink Starburst and the yellow Starburst. The red Starbursts are worse than not having any Starburst. Disagree, but I knew this kid who had a sociological th theory based on Starburst that poor kids on the whole would prefer orange and yellow Starburst because the rich kids at school that can afford Starburst, those are the colors they would dish out to the poor kid who's like, oh, please, <laughs> one piece of candy. All right, here, take this orange and fuck off. <laughs> the yeah, orange was a bad one. I, I mean, like the most that. valuable was always the pink lemonade one. 
The pink lemonade was the best. I think it was called. Was it pink lemonade? I always lemonade? thought I people were kind of bitches if they discriminated between Starbursts. Like you eat oh. all the Starbursts, you take what you get, and you don't pitch a fit. And you know, <laughs> that... what is a pull yourself up by your bootstraps Starburst? <laughs> Starburst. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> take the hand that's dealt you. You eat those three reds in a row. I know it's not fair. <laughs> I, I really would. Yeah, I would eat whatever whatever came my way. No complaints. Fucking now and later's and shit. What kind of candy bar though, Danny? Twix, maybe. I think what? Twix is an underrated one. Twix is solid. Twix Very... was in our top five. Where do you stand on the ever raging debate? Mini Reese's cups versus normal size Reese's cups. I can answer this. Neither, because when I was about twelve years old, I opened a Reese's cup and it had live mealworms crawling around inside of it. Done. Can't do so it you anymore. Didn't need it. I did. <laughs> I feel like this makes you some sort of racist racist, right? Like it, now you are prejudging all other racists based on that one bad experience you had with the cup, right? It, it, look, it, there's bad That's apples. Racist. You're there's being racist, racist you. on this. There's one bad apple in, in every candy, I'm sure. And you're judging the rest without meeting them. Yeah. There could maybe be a book written on the implications of candy. I mean, poor kids with the orange starburst, racism based on mealworms and Reese's. Dude, we're we're covering some ground here. Mm-hmm. Write a whole book on racism. Extremely <laughs> 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 veiled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, there's some good material there. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun with this if we're we're yeah. talking about candy here, folks. All right, candy. <laughs> do the, the, the Reese's. Actually, you're a Reese's too. You were. I was saying all Reese's are good because they all have that key combination: peanut butter and chocolate. You Except squabble the white over. chocolate. Well, the white chocolate. Uh, the yeah. white chocolate <laughs> ones are pretty good too. I like the white chocolate Reese's. You know, as a kid, I really like white chocolate. Have you ever had a zero bar? Oh, dude, that's a that's just not a very good candy at all. I liked that as a kid. It was it's like a white chocolate Milky Way. It kind of it's it's like that consistency of candy mm. bar. It's like nougat yeah. and caramel probably, but it's white chocolate on the outside. I like the zero bar. I like white chocolate. It's like it's sweeter, but too much. It's not even it. chocolate. Well, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's I don't good. know exactly. It's some sort of confectionery. I don't know. It's sugar and like. Yeah, Something who cares? Else? It tastes great, but yeah, yeah. zero think, bar. No, what was I think white, I think white chocolate should be kept away from uh, dark chocolate. One could even say segregated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> different different section of the aisle. You think? With, what yeah, What do you think the superior or the master chocolate uh, would be? You're really That's ruining the vagary of it, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's intentional. What would you say the master Reese is? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, all right, once again, Icarus, too close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, I, I really, I, I kind of want some candy. I don't get cravings for sweets. but we well, talked we've been about talking candy. about candy for a solid candy. fucking hour tonight, right? <laughs> candy like, so much before you came on, Danny, that like, now I'm just, I really want a Reese's Fast Break. Yeah, man. I might jump over to my gas station after this, too. Because I What's, uh, oh, oh, my God. I got hurt oh, crackle candy bars? Gonna- it's the crackle full size. I've never seen it before. And they're actually out of stock. But you can click that and you'll get notified notified when they're available. Um, I, that's the first time I've ever seen like crackles are so oh, fucking yeah, good. They're always in the Hershey's minis. Yeah. yeah. Remember, yeah. remember where you'd be like, dude, this is bullshit. All these Wait. Goodyear bars are taking up all the space that could be crackles. I like is good bar. Is a $27 candy bar? What the fuck am I looking at? Um, I think that's for a lot. A 18 of them. Uh, it must be for this box. If you go to picture number three, it makes a little more sense. Yeah, it's 18 of them. That's how I buy my chocolate. The most savings per <laughs> ounce. So I, <laughs> I don't want to lose money. This is a six pound bag. I'll have chocolate for, for days. Fucking... Yeah, I've never seen a full size crackle bar, but that's really. That's really good. Bro. What else? There was at least a couple bullshit candies in the, the Hershey's mix. Oh, I, I didn't I like the Mr. You mentioned Mr. Goodbar like it was the, the worst one. It's the second best one for me because I love peanuts so much. I panicked I, and I only had that one to reach to. Uh, I think what's actually the worst one. The Hershey's Dark pain. and the Milk Chocolate. It's, yeah, just I, I like the dark chocolate of Hershey's better than the milk chocolate. Yeah, it's the third best. Is boring. 
yeah, milk chocolate's just boring. It's the worst of them all. And then and then dark chocolate's better than that. And Mr. Goodbar's better than that. And Crackle was always my favorite. Yeah, they don't sell dark chocolate. Never Pulse, better apparently than that. though. Hmm. Hey, uh, the maybe the best candy that I can recall from childhood. I'd say it's actually a tie. It's fruit gushers and fruit by the foot fruit roll ups. That's hard to beat. Hmm. I had a lot more fun playing with fruit by the foot than I did tasting it. So taste, I give the edge to gushers. Why did that uh, sound so sexual? Playing with fruit by the foot that I did tasting it. Yeah, well, I wrapped it around my dick like a cock ring, and then me and my <laughs> kindergarten playmates had a ball. You yeah, know? Don't make it sexual, Dan. <laughs> yeah, don't make it weird. I remember, I remember they made one fruit by the foot that, like, usually it was three feet long, but this one, it was like, double the length and it was except it was the same thing but you pulled it and it, you could split it in half down a pre-scored line and just hold a six foot thinner one and it uh, was you know it was it was pretty cool for a second was it even better cock ring chocolate covered <laughs> cookie dough two pound bag you know what this is movie theater candy and it's not very good every time i had it which is maybe twice ever at the movie theater it was hard the, the the cookie dough was like dusty and old. It was just shitty. Maybe I got huh. a couple bad bags, but yeah, I've never never purchased these again. Bad taste in my mouth from these cookie dough bullshit balls. Fair enough. It, it, it looks Maybe pretty intriguing to me. No, we're gonna keep talking about <laughs> how bad they are. The, the best candy marketing job, perhaps ever. Forgive me if you guys spoke about this earlier, but the entire premise of Warheads where like hey this is really shitty candy you're gonna hate every second of this but like buy these try it and i guess it was one of the biggest maybe the biggest candy of the 90s i went and wikipedia at warheads recently yeah we talked about like at grade school like having challenges where it's like oh you know ted's about to put five lemons in his mouth lemon it was either lemon or blue raspberry that was well known to be the most flavors the, yeah the flavors lemon and blue raspberry being the most yeah. sour i think yeah, I I want to do a whiskey eventually. I want to market a whiskey, and the it's just I want to give it a funny name, and the premise is just going to be like this: this stuff sucks, but it'll be funny if you drink it. Like uh, <laughs> intentionally make a bad product. Yeah, it's like th that's what warheads were. It's like this: these are awful. I challenge you to put this in your mouth. Give me money, just and put this in your mouth, and you can brag <laughs> to your friends about how miserable the experience was. Yeah, Brad, What's that yeah. peppermint uh, liquor? What's that shit? Um, not peppermint, yeah. but it's. Uh, rumple min mints right not i didn't mean peppermint it's it's um it's like it's like hot it's like a like like oh, like a oh. uh, uh, fireball 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 yeah. yeah i actually like fireball because it it tastes like the fireball candies you know but it's like which, which are also underrated those are pretty fucking good fireballs they're not my cup of tea i think they're terrible i want one occasionally like one a year one a year mm, you can <laughs> i'm not gonna mine. eat a bag of them you can have mine you get two a year I'll tell you what you could eat a bag of, and this combines like three of our favorite things. These mm -hmm. Albanese milk chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel candy. Wait, do that again slowly. Albanese milk chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel candies. Yeah, milk these are chocolate solid. covered nice. peanut butter filled pretzel candies. That does sound like a winner. These are They're, those the, pretzel pockets candy. filled with peanut butter and covered in chocolate. When there's like six different descriptor words in a candy, you know it's going to be good. Milk, <laughs> chocolate, covered, peanut butter, filled pretzels. Look at the pictures. I they, just they, did. Looks they look much. so fucking good. Three pounds for only $32. Do you think these are high calorie? Nah, it's probably protein. You're getting a lot of protein with that peanut butter. This is, <laughs> this is muscle. Peanut this butter is, is a health food. Right? It's how I've lost weight. It's, this, it's, is it's, it's a pure peanut butter diet. <laughs> And Nutella. People underestimate just how nutritious Nutella is. It's not candy masquerading as something else. No. Yeah. Nutella is like protein Nutella powder. Nutella is so bad for you. Nutella also <laughs> is infinitely worse than just peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh, I, I got to disagree yeah. with you there. They're yeah. both very good, but Nutella is like it's chocolate peanut sweet. butter. It's sickly sweet. It's too much sweetness. We're oh. talking about candy here, and you've got a problem with sweetness? And, you can, and sometimes you can go overboard with the sweetness. Lots of people know this. Lots of smart people. Guess you're not one of them. Talk about this. It can be too sweet. I disagree. 
Mm, you're I a guess. fucking retard. Do you like that? <laughs> if I still this had that bomb your ass. Yeah, this is why I have uh this is why I have composite fake teeth. Gotta get that. Oh, I thought you were making oh, fun of teeth in that. Oh, you were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought Taylor you were took it to heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with the teeth thing. I gotta take it serious. <laughs> All right, enough candy. I am getting hungry now. Um, yeah, I want candy so no bad. No more candy talk. <laughs>